Hey y'all, Flint Long here. You know, one of my students contacted me today on my website, flintlong.com, and he wanted to know uh, what Jacob Tolliver was doing on the piano when he paid tribute to Jerry Lee Lewis on Jerry's 85th birthday. And Jacob was going, Rockin', rockin' my life away. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Rockin', rockin' my life away. Okay, so uh, here's middle C. The first thing you have to know is we're not going to be in the key of C today. We're going to be in this key of G. So we're going to have, instead of C and F and G seventh for our chords, we're not going to have that this time. We're going to have G is going to be our main chord. Then we're going to have C and we're going to have D seventh. Okay, so now I want you to put your right hand on this chord, this G7 right here, G, B, D, F, okay? Put the pinky of your left hand on this G down here, here's middle C, and put your index finger there on D. Now play that. Now play the chord. Now go to G and E and play the chord. G and D. G and E, left, right, left, right, left, right. Come on over, baby, hold out a shaking going on. Okay, now, I don't care if you use your thumb there and go like that. You might want to do that. I don't prefer it. I like this. Now for our C, move your thumb up here to middle C and play your C chord. Now we're gonna go C and G and chord. Now C and A and the chord. Now back to the G. G and D chord. Now go up to the D. Put your pinky on D here and A there. For a D seventh chord, I want you to put your thumb on middle C, play D with your index finger, F sharp with your third finger, and A with your pinky up here. Okay, so now put your pinky down here on D and A. So we're gonna go D and B. See how that is? C. Okay, I'm gonna play all 12 bars for you. Here we go. show you something that's pretty cool variation on this. I want you to know that you can go up to this G from this, I mean, to this F. <coughs> Pardon me. You can go. And you can go up to this B flat when, when, when we go. change that part. I wouldn't change that part. Okay, now I'm going to show you what the killer himself does. Here's another variation. And this, you're going to like this very much. I want you to play, instead of this, I want you to go G octave. Can you see that down there? I, I don't know if my camera will 
get that low G, I'll play this. Let's see. Yeah, climb up here. G, B, D, E. Then go. You could do it with single notes too. C. The basic one, there's nothing wrong with it. The basic one that Jacob Tolliver was doing, which is just right out of the gate. That is so, to me, it sounds really great. It's just driving, you know. Oh, come on over me. I, you know, rock in. But you have to start it off like this. I want you all to go over to your aunt Grace's house, sit down at the piano and go. Or uh, there's another thing you could do. You could start it with the Flint Long introduction. That's this. That's D octave. you like those variations I love them all I use them all in my playing just about every day of my life so that was what Jacob was doing and uh, I thought instead of just giving the lesson to my uh, student that I would share it with y'all and uh, it's my great pleasure to do so thank you all very much and I've got another coordination exercise number 11 coming up it's uh, gonna come up later today thanks take care bye